that, you know, when you recruited Mo and Don just made this point, you know, he wasn't an every down guy. He left an every a dominant every down guy. And so you were able to build that over the over the course of his career. Here's a scary thing probably for the opposition. You lose him, not to say that any one guy can replace Mo, but is it is it unreasonable to think that you guys could be just as good, you know, when you look from left to right going out next year? Well, yeah, they would expect to be that way. And I, you know, go back two years ago, you lost four guys that made it in the NFL, a first rounder, a third rounder, a fourth rounder. And everybody said, how are you going to be able to come back? Well, it's expected to come back here. Mm -hmm. Chase Winovich comes back and is all Big Ten first team. Rashawn Gary is all Big Ten first team. Mo, Her Mo Hurst, who you said wasn't an every down player, becomes an All-American. And that's just what these young men aspire to be. They are working to be the best they can be, and they've bought into what we expect in the defensive line at Michigan. What's the next step for Chase? I mean, what's the next step? Because, I mean, obviously he was – uh, he was a force off the edge last year. What's the next level for, for, for Chase this year? Well, I think, you know, he's just got to keep playing with that motor. You know, it's really, I've been very, uh, I don't know if the word is hard on Chase, but but Chase, you got to remember, came here as an inside linebacker, then was moved to tight end, and then all of a sudden two years ago was moved for the first time to play defensive end. As I went through the entire season watching the cutups. He had a great year, and I almost wanted to go say to him, Chase, uh, you know, you really played really, really good, because sometimes he doesn't think I say that to him, or I believe that. I do believe it. I want to see Chase become more of a dominant pass rusher. Right now, he gets to the quarterback because of effort, mm -hmm. and he can get to the quarterback because of technique and effort, mm -hmm. and that's the big thing. He plays strong. Uh, he takes great pride in playing strong because I think he's somebody said to him, you know, you're not strong enough, they're going to run at you. Mm -hmm. When you watch the film, that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm looking for great things out of him. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's, and let's talk about the guy who, I mean, everyone, when they put up the preseason magazines, the, the face on it is, is Rashawn Gary. I mean, you know, he, yeah. he comes in as the number one player. He has that kind of talent. And he also has that kind of interest and focus from the opposition. So the last year, learning to deal with that was a big, uh, you know, a big move for him. What's the next level for, for Rashawn, and what are you seeing from him? Well, first of all, Rashawn has done a tremendous job. I mean, it's harder on Rashawn. People don't even realize that everybody knows how good he is, uh, what he was named when he came in here and all that kind of thing. I am so proud of him, the way he is takes care of academics, he's a great student, he's got over a three-point student, how much of a leader he's become. In a lot of ways, he looks at this as being his front now, and mm -hmm. he and Chase are guys that really kind of put their names on this. There's nothing he asks anybody to do that he doesn't do first, and do it as hard as he can. And uh, I look for him to have just a great year. Uh, there are, there's nothing that he's done since he's been here that you'd say, boy, I worry about him, not a bit. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm really excited to, to see where he's gonna be this year. If you could if you could point to a goal, and we'll end at this, I mean, there, there are benchmarks that you wanna hit. When you talk to your group, what do you wanna see out of them this spring? Well, I'd like to see this spring, I'd like to see every guy that expects to be in that rotation or is right there getting ready to be in that rotation to play as hard as they can every practice. You know, the thing that happens in spring practice with teams that aren't mature is they have a really good practice and then they go down and then up and then down. I don't think Rashawn and Chase and Brian Monet and Lawrence, those guys will let that happen. We've got a lot to prove. We really, really, and I think these kids, they want to say, we've had some pretty good runs these last couple of years of up front. If you asked every one of them, they want this to be the best of all of them. Mm -hmm. And they've worked to do that so far. So now that's what they want to do. They want, they want when this season's over to say, man, this might have been the best defensive line.